again, good afternoon and welcome here to 104.1 on the radio. We're also live right now on MixTV.TV. So we appreciate those people uh, peeking in and seeing what's going on with us this afternoon. We do have a in-studio live interview. We're going to speak with a couple of guys that are here. Uh, they are BNI members, and BNI stands for Business Network uh, International. And they're going to talk to us about that. And they're also going to talk to us about a community event that uh, business people and this regular folks can come out to on Thursday. Uh, we'll get into all of that in just a few minutes, but right now let's welcome in our guest. Uh, we've got Tim Hickman here with Universal Waste and also Tucker Brown with Turfscapes. And uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. How are y'all doing? Doing excellent. Thanks for having us. Well, thanks so much for coming out. Tim, let's start off with you over there on the right hand side of me there. Uh, Universal Waste, before we get into what's going on with BNI, just tell us a bit about yourself and your business. Sure, I'm glad to. Universal Waste been in Cleveland for over 15 years. Uh, we are your locally owned waste, you know, management company, and uh, we pursue uh, whatever level you need, industrial or residential, in some areas. Drop right. the plastic cans, but the roll-offs and the front loads is what we're doing at this time. All right, sounds good. And Tucker Brown, tell us a bit about Turfscapes. Ah, Turfscapes is a, a local veteran-owned health turf care um, of company. We take care of everything from we control fertilizations, pre-emergence, anything to do outside, whether that's your turf, tree shrub care, um, turfscapes can handle it. Well, we got a lot of weeds and stuff coming around right now, don't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. Since, it is. since the weather's finally kicked in a little bit there, so I guess your phones are ringing a lot there. Well, let's go ahead and dive right into what you two gentlemen wanted to come by and talk about. I mentioned it on the onset, B&I, which you guys are members of that, Business Network International. And uh, we're going to come back over to Tim. I'm going to let you guys tell me independently what that means to you, what B&I is, and, and why you guys want to be a part of it. Sure. Uh, we're the actually most successful organization in the world of its type uh, and there's you know over uh, 10,000 uh, chapters that are in the, globally. Wow 10,000. 10,000 and uh, you know in members are 75 countries 280,000 members. I'd say that's a pretty significant thing there going on. Now, when you mention the words chapter, Tucker, I guess that just means the Cleveland, Bradley County area. Is that what a chapter is with, with B&I? Yeah, so there's actually, um, you know, multiple chapters, um, whether that be in, in Bradley County, Hamilton. We're actually part of the Cleveland Connection chapter here, here locally. Okay, so and I believe Mark Shepard's a part of you guys as well. He's one of the ones that kind of helped us line this up. And, and I know you guys are wanting to reach out something that, that is a little bit different than what you guys normally do. We were talking before we went on air. Usually it's, a, it's an invite from a member type thing, but this, this meeting coming up on Thursday, pretty much anybody can come attend this. It's going to be at Insurance Incorporated on Georgetown Road. Uh, tell me a little bit about the logistics as far as the time and maybe what kind of people should attend this. Let's come back over to you there, Tim. Okay, sure. We start at 745. So it's and bright so and early. It is. <laughs> and we try to get there a few minutes early so we can talk amongst ourselves. You know, we try to start on time. Right. And uh, so anyone that is uh, even successful or if you're a young business or established, it doesn't matter. It's a networking, you know, procedure that this uh, BNI has perfected. And they found a way with some core values that they list out, you know, at each meeting. And we go through a procedure, you know. And so the folks that are coming visitors are going to get to see, for those of us who are members, right. how we go about doing it. But it's a referral-based organization is what it's totally about. And being able to do business and understand people that are here, established or not, of, uh, you know, what they need for their business to grow. It makes them really a lot of sense. Again, we're speaking with our friends for B&I. Uh, they're talking about that this is Business Network International. They have a chapter here in Cleveland that we're talking about. They're having a, a meeting, a get-together, if you would, networking at Insurance Incorporated at 2551 Georgetown Road, starting at 745 a.m. on Thursday. Uh, they want to invite anyone that wants to find out more information about what they do to come down to this. And uh, Tucker, come over to you now. We, we talked about it a little bit, but what does B&I mean? mean to you and how is it how is it something that's helped your business you know why, why did you want to be a part of it absolutely uh bni's philosophy is givers game um so to be able to go in and 
to an established organization and be able to help folks uh, like Tim and Universal Waste and, and Mark Shepard uh, to be an instant part of that community, um, knowing that I'm going to help them out any way that I can, whether that be referrals, um, and they're going to reciprocate that to me directly. Um, and it's not necessarily referrals. It's a you know, I might need some. I might need some fall help, labor-wise. Right. Well, I have an instant connection to, to, like Tim said, you know, thousands of chapters that I can resource that from. It sounds like it's something that that I, I would definitely suggest people to come out and investigate for themselves to say, hey, this is something that would work for me for sure. And I would think, and especially, now I don't know about all the other chapters, but uh, right here in Cleveland and Bradley County, when you get business people networking together, communicating, I would think that, that we always like to say here, buy local, shop local, do all the things local. That That's a big thing for us, community. That's, of course, in part of our slogan, creating community. And it sounds like B&I members are, are kind of uh, on that same path, if you would, kind of, kind of that same philosophy. Am I right? No, oh, absolutely. Certainly, absolutely. That's it, you know, and again, what the uh, experience from people who are established in business, if you're a young business especially, you know, people that in different types of businesses, some of them may be ones that you've been at, trying to open up business with, and they're sitting here, at, and you have the opportunity maybe to meet them or at least hear about their business. I think it's a great opportunity coming up this Thursday at Insurance Incorporated at 2551 Georgetown Road. Everyone is welcome to come out to this, whether you're an individual or a business looking to network and maybe getting some referral type things. Uh, so really, it, it, it's a thing to where you guys, uh, I guess I guess for lack of, of better words, kind of uh, dumbing it down for someone like me, you're just kind of sharing information. You're sharing, uh, if, if someone says, hey, look, I've done some yard work for someone, but they need somebody to do this, and I'm going to refer you because I know that you're a credible individual, because you're a part of the BNI group, a uh, part of the chapter, and so you feel comfortable uh, referring those people. Is, is that kind of it? Am I am I in the right path there? Yeah, you're spot on. Um, you know, we know, like the code of ethics, like Tim mentioned earlier, uh, we, we're going to hold each other accountable if you're a, if you're a member of that chapter of our organization um, not only is your business philosophy going to hold you accountable but everybody that sits around that table is going to hold you accountable to your word as well you know it's kind of one of those things i guess the first thing that comes to my mind when i think about how you guys probably structure and work together and network together is if i'm building a house i've got to have an electrician i've got to have a plumber i've got to have this i've got to have that i've got to have a contractor maybe someone that does uh, working with with stones or brick and then this that and the other and if I was doing that on my own I'd have no no knowledge of where to start how to begin but so I, I'm just kind of using a house kind of as as, as the excellent the, the, example the, the, because the there's example. such a variety of what yeah. has to go on to complete the process right. of a house so that that's kind of what you guys do but in a much larger perspective it is all over and we always like to say you know a good question is how do you know what a new member is a reputable member. We take application and you have to go through our committee and I they're going to investigate you somewhat to make sure that you are a reputable business and person and that you don't have something bad that we would bring in and just if you were to receive a job, you know, a referral and you would get it and you weren't, you didn't complete that job very well, then you know there'll be some people that want to ask questions right. and try to open discussion with that. And holding people accountable, like, like you guys were saying there a while ago, accountability. Good, that's one of our, uh, you know, core values. Right. Again, we're speaking with our friends today, Tim Hickman here with Universal Waste and also Tucker Brown with Turfscapes, uh, talking about an opportunity, and, I, and this is definitely a good opportunity for people to come out and do some more investigating on their own. Uh, B&I is probably something you've heard about, the local chapter here, Business Network International, the world's largest business networking and business referral organization, and we hope that you will come out to this uh, open, I guess it's I guess open house is better, maybe a way to say it, right? I mean, it we're is. just inviting people to come out and be a part of this. open house? Yeah. Yes. So come out and see what this is all about. See if it would work for your business. I don't know any business that it wouldn't work for. Uh, so come out and visit with these young gentlemen here and their businesses and, and just find out what it's all about. All right, as we circle back around at the end of the interview here, I'm going to come back one at a time. Uh, Tim, we'll start with you. What else or anything else you want to repeat that we want to make sure that our listening and watching audience knows about? 
Well, again, this organization is very successful and they can show you and prove you the track record that's behind them. And so if you follow, you know, some of the things that they'll teach you, you don't have to go by, it, you know, but you need to spend a few hours a week on and to the organization here to actually optimize what you can get from it. You know, another thing, too, that comes to my mind is right now people are so nervous about people being in their homes and stuff. So to know that they were referred by a group like yourselves, a chapter that whether they're doing work around your home or around your neighbor's home or your parents' home, uh, it's something that you guys can help them with. Excuse me. So we'll come back over to you, Tucker, and we'll let you kind of finish things up here, sir. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of people, uh, the proof is in the pudding, so to speak. Right. So in, in the past 12 months, uh, BNI's referral network has generated over $20 billion wow. of, of, of business. Um, so the, the ability to, to come in and be a direct correlation of that and have direct access to that kind of referral network, um, like Tim said, it can be huge for a small business, an established business, anybody looking just to be able to network and get their name out there some more. All right, guys, we appreciate you coming in, telling us about this. It's, again, it's going to be uh, some networking and things going on with B&I. The local chapter is, is having a, a get-together, if you would, an open house. Insurance Incorporated at 2551 Georgetown Road this Thursday, 745. Be on time because it sounds like that's another thing you guys strive on is it being is. true to your word there. Absolutely. And taking, making sure everybody's time is spent wisely. Guys, thanks for coming in so much. We appreciate it. Thanks Thank for having you. us. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back with more in just a moment. Stay right here with us. Mix 104.1 WCLE. Look at